Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf, joined today by two Master Club fitters. I've got Danny Farrell and Thomas Campbell from the Minnetonka store outside on the driving range today. And, well guys, I need help. Uh, my iron game, uh, the last few rounds I've played, I've noticed it's, it's not as sharp as it used to be. And so, part of me now is kind of wondering if it is due to maybe some swing changes I've made over time. Uh, because when I got fit for these irons, it was on the YouTube channel um, in early 2020. It got fit by Thomas uh, for Ping i500s, i210s, uh, combo set and been great for two years and I'm now kind of realizing that I think I maybe developed a kind of an in to out, maybe a draw swing. And at the time I came out of a, a kind of a fade swing. Okay. Uh, so maybe there's some issues there, but I, I basically what I'm saying as an age help. Okay. Thomas kind of downloaded me on the specs that came out of that fitting for him. What's he playing right now? Yeah. So, I mean, what he was playing, he was playing Mizuno I-50, uh, was it MP-59s? Yeah. MP-59s. I believe okay. the shaft was like half an inch short and the, the it was also very, very flat. Yeah. And your misses were kind of right and with about eight or nine thousand spin with yeah. the seven iron. So okay. we uh, made a change. I think we went plus a half in length. Mm -hmm. um, we, we did a combo set with I210, I500, made that transition between the six and the seven iron. Yep. Went two degrees upright, so it went with a green dot. Yep. Um, we also tweaked the lofts a little bit between that six and the seven iron because the I500 loft stronger than the I210. I mean, the I-210 one degree stronger, and we made the I-500 one degree weaker, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So that was the way our kind of matching up those lofts, because they were standard lofts are a little different. But yep. Yep. Uh, I have up now my Arcos information, which is awesome. certainly interesting. Awesome. Uh, but so, and it's, it's, I mean, it's really the last t 10 to five rounds, I've really decreased kind of my, my strokes gained, if you will, with okay. approach. So okay. um, I'm going to go to my, I guess, five round averages here. Okay. And I... Over the last five rounds, I'm hitting approach shots like a 9.8 handicap, according to Arcos. And as a 2.3 handicap officially using my gin, that means I'm losing quite a few shots with my approach up. game yeah. right now lately. And if I go to the last 10 rounds I've played, um, that number goes to 5.2. So I'm still, you know, it, it's certainly trending down, I guess is what yeah. I'm saying. You can see. Okay. So, uh, I mean, so I, my hope today is I can hit a few shots. You can maybe see with TrackMan if there's, a, you know, maybe a lie angle change needs to be made or, or some sort of fitting uh, spec that I can update to help me out. Yeah, and I, I think just knowing your swing a little bit, hearing the story of, hey, I came out of a little bit outside in path, and now I might be a little bit from the inside. That's one of the things we talk about all the time in the fitting base is mm -hmm. players make that swing change. That's why at Second Swing, we have players come back in to revisit those lie angle changes. We're not just going to see it one time. We want to be with you on that journey. So today is all about you with that. And I'm sure between Thomas and I, we'll be able to diagnose that quickly. Yeah, okay. I, this is a, a very fortunate situation to have two fitters here with me today. So, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I'll hit a few shots. Hopefully TrackMan can help us out today. Sure. And ultimately, I want to hit some better iron shots in the greens. So yeah, Let's go score. Oh, it felt like a tug. Yeah, and Drew, you know, looking at some of your Arcos data too, there is some separation kind of right where this transition takes place. Yeah. In between the six and the seven. You know, Arcos thankfully is telling us that the six on average is flying 204. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the seven is flying about 180. Yes, yeah, so there's, so there's definitely some sort of a gap, a gap there. there. 24 yards, that's definitely way too yeah, far apart. And yeah. Yeah. It does feel like a lot of the, you know, playing the tees that I'll play, there's a lot of par threes that are going to be mm -hmm. yeah. 180, 190, yeah. 200 yeah. yards. And remember, we're in two complete, completely different iron models trying to blend those together, yeah. right? We have the I-210 precision with more loft, lower center of gravity. Mm -hmm. Then we have the hollow body I-500 rocket ship. Yeah. Okay, so trying to marry those two together yeah, we're seeing some inconsistency mm -hmm. with that, that transition there. That one's good. Maybe a little low on the face, but... Yeah, so dynamic lie was 66 first one, then it was 64, 8 the second one. So what does that mean? So dynamic lie is at impact, so dynamically you swing in the golf club what the effective lie angle is at impact. Yeah, yeah. So with your seven iron, standard for paying is 62. With your lie angle playing 64, that's stationary, okay? Okay. At impact, because our path is a little bit from the inside, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. A little bit from the inside. Three degrees into up. Yep, that handle drops at impact. Okay, okay? So, so. your hands drop, so we're effectively adding more to that upright lie angle with the path. So right? I'm actually, 
You're hitting so a little tug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mm -hmm. what you're doing. Mm -hmm. okay. So the swing has changed since you were right, right. previously fit for yep. these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good to see. Good ball speed. Mm -hmm. Another one just a little left of center. Those hit pretty solidly. 66.2. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so on average right now it's 65.7 on that dynamic lie. So it's essentially playing uh, almost two degrees too far upright for you. Okay, so I almost, almost it's like standard. Am I almost back to standard <laughs> fit? Well, with you with you making swing changes and coming a little more from the inside, mm -hmm. and then tweaking your grip a little bit. Yeah, like, yeah. Like no, and, and I'm not. Yep. You know, that's over the last two years I play a lot of golf. Like it's yeah. it's just yep. it happens. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I play a lot more golf than the average player. So I find it interesting on that last shot too. A lot of spin on that shot. Eighty-seven thirty-five. And this seven iron's got 32 degrees of loft on it because we made it one degree stronger. Right. So it's That's really a like a six spin. and a half iron. Where where is he dynamically um, loft wise? It's 21 and a half. So that's okay. that's good. So He's that's not the, the ball. issue. Yeah, so. his hands are ahead, yeah. low and ahead. Okay. Right. This is not really good there. See that one was better. Yeah. Should have less spin on it. 75, 79. That's a Dynamic lot of lie, 66.2 again. So. Okay, so very consistent about adding two, two and a half yep. lie wise for him. Okay. So I, I'm seeing here club speed 93.8 on average. Okay. It's, a, it's some pretty good speed mm -hmm. there. When you swing fast, you're going to generate more spin on the yeah. ball. Mm -hmm. So I'm not so worried about the spin because, I mean, your numbers on average right now about 175 carry going about 180. That is part of the reason why the ball's not going to be going as far as you could hit it when your club speed's almost 94 miles an hour. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm more interested in the ball flight and see where the ball's going. Yeah. So far, the first four shots you've hit, they're all left of center. Yeah. And you got one that you tugged a little bit further they off. They felt a little bit. I mean, I'm even just watching them. They're all, even with this wind, there's a slight breeze this way. They're still ended up left of my target out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, looking at the club data, you're in to out about one degree. Um, that one actually you were a little bit more across, that one you're that actually one? minus one, but the, okay, on average okay. you're one degree into out, and your face angle on average is four degrees left. Okay. So your face to path is about four degrees to the left. Oh, okay. Which is going to cause so a little left. So really I'm just pulling it right now. Yeah, you just... Well, basically. Yep. A yep. little. Yeah, that one was definitely left. Yeah, similar. A little more ball speed there, a little tuggy. Yep. 65, dynamic lie. Okay. Face angle was three degrees closed. Yeah. So you've, you've made some really good improvements on your game in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. I remember your path used to be a little yeah. left yeah. and your face would be a little more open at impact, which would cause, I mean, I remember the spin rates and oh, how yeah. far you were hitting the, the Oh yeah, the it, was, it was just, face was open and it was just like that. It was yeah. like, I think you said the ball like released out one yard. I think it was yeah. like. It was something like that. Like 160 yeah. carry going, 161 or something right. like that. Right. Okay. And you well, were also playing weak lofts then back too, right? right. With yeah. the five nines. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So yeah. that's why back then when the swing was outside in that uh, we went into this combination for you or Thomas and you yeah. did. But now the swing has evolved. And instead of that club coming in flush now, where it was, because outside in, you're going to deliver the toe down yeah. at impact. Now, because we're inside, we're delivering the heel first. Okay. And then with a the half inch, that makes it play more. Yeah. And then dynamically in the swing with your hands dropping low, that makes it play more. Okay. I see. So we're statistically about, we're adding two degrees dynamically just in your golf swing itself. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we can probably afford to push that back down yeah. or gravitate back. But now that we've hit the I-210, I want to see the transition going into okay. the I-5. Because yeah. this is where our coast is showing some red flags for mm -hmm. sure. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. it sounds a little different. Mm -hmm. it's definitely gonna, it definitely sounds and feels different. Well, here's, here's the thing, thing I'm noticing here. Ball speed, speed right, right off the bat, 140. 140. That's, That's too, too much separation, separation between, between the, the, the ball speed he was getting with his, his seven iron originally. Because we were at 129-ish. Yeah, yeah, we're about 130-ish. Okay. So, so it's about, about 10 miles an hour. Instead of four, which we Let's like see what the average was. That, that one carried 207 going 216. So it's, it's spin way lower than we are. We're seeing. It's spin lower too. Yeah, that was 5600 spin. Yeah. So the Arcos data, how accurate is that? I know. That, that was it's really, good. really spot on saying 180 on the seven iron to 204. Right. It's, <laughs> you can see why we should have a lot more players doing this right. for that feedback. That's incredible. Uh-oh. See, 
That was Lomar off the toe. Yep. And I can definitely kind of start to spinner. see divot pattern wise. You can see a we're, we're heel low here. See how kind of you can see the blade yep, yep, coming yep. in it from this direction. That's your path. So kind of coming in almost like this. Yep, I'm hitting exactly. It. Yeah. You see how that is. divot is kind of shaving up here. You can yeah. literally see that in the grass. So that's that inside out path. And now that lie angle, the heels coming in because we're adding a little bit and it's sitting more upright too. Okay. Okay. So this isn't something dynamically in your golf swing. This is something with club wise that we can answer for you now too. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me ask you, what, what bull flight do you want to hit? Mm -hmm. The straight one in the hole. <laughs> um, <laughs> so if, you, if you're going to eliminate kind of one, one side, now we've, we've got left covered right now. Would you want to try and hit a, a little fade or a, a tiny I, I mean, I'd like to be able to hit the fade if I need to. Okay. Um, yeah. And okay. that's something I know I haven't been able to do recently is if I need to hit something left to right, I used to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but I, it, whatever reason, it's either, it's either I got, I kind of over, overcook it right and it's just way over there okay. or I kind of hit that pull to a draw and it doesn't really come back for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's something I would like to be able to do. Um, okay. And I didn't know if that, okay. my lie angle situation, you know, is, is preventing me from that or not. Well, that can certainly aid in that, but yeah. how often do you practice the cut? Well, not very often. There so you go. that's probably part of it too. <laughs> there you go. But, <laughs> but I mean, but there's, it, it, yeah, and it's not like I'm like, every round I'm like, oh, here's four shots I need to hit a cut for. You know, okay. I'm not doing that all the time. It's just okay. like, here's a few tee shots where like I, you know, the, maybe the wind's off the left and the pin's on the right. And it's like, this is better to play a cut. And I just end up, hitting a pull draw that holds up against the wind and misses a green left. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're, I'm seeing about 20, 25 yards separation between the six and the seven iron so far. Really? Yeah. 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 That was money. That one's straighter. That was money. That might even be a cut. Yeah, showing a little fade here. So that one there, your path on that one was a little bit further left. Hmm. Negative three, your face angle was negative three. So that was so almost face that was to a path, <laughs> yeah, was 0 0.3. So that's why the bull flew a little bit straighter for you. Okay. Uh oh. And now we're back to the, uh, okay. the common misses. Yep, yep. And you can see that again, right? Pretty shallow coming in, but yep. that same kind of little crescent coming yep. in here yep. where that heel is, is leading, toe sits up a little bit, and that just turns over a little bit mm -hmm. too much. Okay. Path was negative 0 0.6, but the face angle was five degrees closed. Okay. Hmm. Dynamic, yeah, it's, it's interesting that, that the dynamic lie is just, it's just a little too upright. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and it's, yeah, it's yeah I know you have, uh, you, you put in the work probably during the pandemic time a oh, little yeah. bit there. I did, and, I did a lot. Because I remember when we did the fitting and we wanted to, your, your grip, for example, you were gripping yeah. it pretty well, My pretty grip weak. is now, I've definitely, that's one change I for sure have made. You know, I know yeah. you were talking about maybe at the time I was, you know, I had that face open a lot and one thing you suggested that, you know, was strengthening the grip and, yeah. My grip was like way weak. Okay, so you were you so, were weak here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then it, you made the change from here. So now you know you know I'm almost that. too strong with okay. it to the point where I can see like three knuckles on here. Okay, well that that might so aid maybe, in, in leverage. Yeah. to close that. That also helps kind of that dynamic uh, loft wise for you as well. That develops more leg and the golf yeah. swing there too. Oh, true. So yeah, you compress the ball really well. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And the other thing with this too, that these are club fade. speed numbers that I, I'm just not used to seeing <laughs> of a six or seven iron. I mean, right. that was 98.2 club speed. Okay. You're almost pushing 100 miles an hour with your six iron. So where where was he on on uh, the seven iron speed wise? Was Let's look. So now we got we got five yeah. shots with each club one speed. here. Let's look at the differences between the two of them and see if there's any separation. I, um, I would imagine there is. That last one was a cut there too, though. So. 97.9 average club speed with the six iron, 93.9 okay. so with four, the seven iron. So four miles an hour faster yeah. with only adding a half inch on the club. But 11 miles an hour more ball speed. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's that too makes, far apart. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's just too far so apart. So could that be, I'm trying to think. I mean, maybe it's you're more loosened up now. I mean, it could be know, that. From but, that, but. Is there, but even still, like even with Arcos, is still telling me I have 20 plus yards of difference. So yeah. is that something where, is it possible to bend the club a loft or a degree weaker? Or is that still like, or are we talking like, you know, get a, get a new set here type deal? I think your game's got 
better where I don't know if you're a combo set guy I agree. anymore. Yeah, I fully yeah. agree. Yeah, like mm -hmm. you've improved a lot in the last couple of years just by doing all this content, I could, learning I, yeah, a lot. Yeah, it is. Seriously, stuff. though, yeah. I, it, it is true. Like watching Thomas hit the ball mm -hmm. a lot, like it, it has helped me, especially with driver. I've gained a bunch of distance just by hitting up on driver. Yeah. But even still, like I've, you know, well, when we're getting ready to film videos, right? Like I'll hit a couple of shots in the, in the bay and I've mm -hmm. been trying to not come over the top and now I'm almost okay. too strong the other way. So yeah, I think the hollow body irons is going too far. I mean, yeah. you look seven iron, 176.2 carry going 180. Six iron, 199.6 going 206. You know, like you said, kudos to our coast right there. They were saying 24 yards apart. We're 26 yards apart on yeah. those five shots. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So it sounds like the, I, I don't need hollow body at the top of the set. I probably just stick with a player's cavity type iron. Player's cavity all the way through is yeah. what I would, 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 would recommend. And even if you were looking at combo set, maybe even your scoring clubs, you could look at a little bit more player's iron. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're what, one handicap? Yeah, like two. I think 2.3 right two? now. And yep. I mean, and you can probably, the viewers probably saw my putting information on the Arco side too. That's <laughs> even a bigger concern right now than the iron. <laughs> well, here's the thing with the putting thing. Your, your putting stats are very, very high because you're not hitting the ball close enough. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're having 30 or 40 feet all the time on the green, when you're hitting the green and lifting yourself above the hole, or if you're missing the green and not getting up and down, those putting stats, of course, are going to get yeah. high because you're not hitting yeah. the right spot. So right. your iron ball striking, your wedge game, is also going to influence your putting stats a lot. Yeah. So improving this will also improve your putting Right, game. sure, yeah. sure. Take a little less stress off your putting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but yeah, so it's interesting, like, your dynamic lie, we're talking about one degree separation between the two of them. 65.7, 64.5, okay. which is still just a little too upright so, there for, especially yeah. considering you're missing it less. Less. So you're kind of thinking about 62-ish is probably the, the, the lie angle I need for a seven iron-ish. I, I, yeah. I think that'd be I'm, appropriate. I'm back to being kind of a standard you yeah. know, deliverer. Yeah, I mean, we're, remember the half inch is in there, that's gonna make yeah. it play a little bit more as well. So with that being said, we we know we add about two, okay, just dynamically with that inside path. So if we can knock that down two, that okay. should help the performance. So too. that could be, I guess, a band aid for now, right? Uh, yeah. But then you know when it's time to maybe get new irons, which yep. might be sooner than later. Yeah. I need to probably go right into player's cavity all the way through. Is kind I, of. I would agree. I would agree with Thomas right. there, and you know Trackman. Uh, telling us as well that we're a player that de-lofts the club quite a bit too. Yeah. So I don't want to go into a supercharged head for you, which is right, why right, that isn't right. performing very well to mesh, mesh up with this. Yes. It's because we that's where our speed comes from is the leg there. Yeah. So if our dynamic loft is low, I'm not going to give you a lower lofted iron to enforce that more. Yeah. Right. I want to go the opposite way, yeah. which is why the I-210 has been better for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, impact offset zero millimeters. He's hitting it right in the middle of the face. Mm -hmm. We're just seeing the diamond lie is just a little too far upright. Yeah. And that's the thing too, like viewers at home are gonna see that, wow, he's right in the middle of the face, it's gotta be a swing thing. No, this is more of a starting line thing for the golf ball where the lie angle can certainly influence that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yes, it's in the middle, but we're trying to shape that ball to make it start a little bit further right to enhance okay. the draw for us a little so, bit. So the short term thing for maybe this year, since I'm not, in the position to, to buy a new iron set right mm -hmm. now. But mm -hmm. um, maybe tweak that line a little bit, go yep. a little bit a couple towards, flatter. back towards standard. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, go back. Mm -hmm. You know, go, I guess, yeah, two degrees flatter. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. And then, you know, next spring, maybe think about a new iron set, which would be player's cavity category yeah. all the way through, because I'm probably not in a, I'm not a hollow body iron player as well. You had, I mean, yeah. a, a six iron and those with the speed that you've got, it's just a rocket. Is yeah, what, is what it is, and because mm -hmm. I mean, there's there's a point where every player, you know, you're hitting balls 220, 230. You're, you're gonna have problems controlling it, I'm sure. Either, yeah, either way, nobody's yeah. dialed in from 220 right. like that. Right. So. And I can certainly understand why Thomas had you in that blend, because on the top side, we want to get the distance out, yeah. so we needed to shave that, right? You know, the spin off of that through the hollow body construction. Yeah. I mean, so. my previous clubs, I was not hitting a six iron 200. No. Yard, you know? Oh, it was probably, it was probably 190 yeah. or 185. Yeah, it was lower yeah. back then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then with regards to swing, you know, talking about your swing here, I've got up your, your club path on average is into out 0 0.5 degrees. So slightly into out. 
your mm -hmm. face to p your face to path is negative three point five. Yep. Because okay. So, uh, so I am closing closed. the face a little bit through. Yeah. So your face angle okay. is just a touch closed, was causing a spin axis to the left. Mm -hmm. When you have that dynamic lie already too far upright on top of the face angle closed, yeah, it's yep, only yep. going to go left. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, I think I, I know what I got to do then. So this this does give me a peace of mind because I'm not crazy. I'm not you know <laughs> losing my mind when I'm yeah. starting to hit see that more left out there and a little inconsistency mm -hmm. with the irons. Yeah. So well, that, yeah. that's all good news, Drew. That yeah. tells us the swing's changing and the path is really, right. really neutral right path now. Path is awesome. So yeah. kudos to you. You're doing the work. The tech well, angle, minus yeah. 3.8. I mean, your numbers, if I'm looking at these numbers, they're very, very good. Mm -hmm. It's just dynamic lie and, and face angle just a little bit off. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll, I'll make that change then. I'll go two degrees flatter, and then uh, next spring, I think it's time for an upgrade, maybe. Yeah. Game on. End of the Game day, on. the golf ball always always follows the direction the club face is pointing. Yeah. If it's a little closed and it's a little upright. It's going to go a little left. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. I think I know what I need to do though. That's pretty cool. So, thanks for joining out here today, guys. I learned a lot about my game and I learned what I need to do now to, to hit better iron shots. So, mm -hmm. appreciate it. Not a problem.